Hey guys, what's up, it's Coffee, and welcome back to another video. So, uh, I'm a little bit sick right now, as you can tell, for my clogged nose. But basically, uh, what we're going to be doing today in this video is playing Town Revisited, or Town Remastered. Now, it's going to be like the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 uh, Green Run Map uh, Town, but it's going to be remade and reimagined in a new engine. So, I'm kind of psyched. Uh, this might be what it's actually like in Zombies Chronicles 2 if that ever comes out. If they ever remaster Transit, this might be what the map is like. So uh, let's hop right into it. So I'm going to lag a lot because I'm recording as, at the highest thing I can. So let's. I'm going to lower my resolution to uh, around 100% instead of 140. I hope you guys are okay with that. All right, so I'm currently getting 8 FPS. <laughs> Hold up. Um, let me fix my graphic settings. So let's sit down at 1080p and then let's do. All right, that seems about right. So first thing I want to do, uh, get that. Wow, this looks so good. All right, so it is a little bit extended. It is a little bit extended because originally, um, this wasn't here. You had this with the the grenades, but then this door wasn't here, so that's something new. Everything looks about the same, though. Oh, the lava, man. Oh, not a big fan of this. I was actually just playing the original town, because uh, there's this software called Plutonium that kind of uh, brought the BO2 servers back online, so that was really fun. Um, God, this pistol's too OP. Keep accidentally dinking them in the dome. Oh, you can't go in there, man. I th I've always wanted to be able to go in there. Ouch. Well, let's open this. Oh, it's playing the OG music. That's crazy. Whoops. <laughs> There's another door back here. All right, all right. Oh, that's cool. So there's like, I think those, no, that's not the die rise buildings. I think that might be like the out of map Nuketown buildings or something. Um, God, I love maps with like an orange and turquoise like color to them. It just looks so good. Either that or purple. I actually have a Twitch VOD for, um, uh, this zombies custom zombie thing. It's like a custom map on black ops 2 and It like revamps uh, Transit so like let me know if you guys want to see a video on that because that's it's like really cool Like there's no denizens. There's no fog you run like 10 times faster. It's crazy It, it just basically fixes everything that's wrong with transit Black Ops 2 guns, all right. I wouldn't say this is my favorite Black Ops 2 gun, but it, it's it's a Black Ops 2 one. People who bought this on the wall over the M14 and Origins are kind of spoken, though. Uh, I'm going to go back up here. Last time I tried playing this, my game crashed, so I'm trying to prevent that from happening. Um... Get my free points. Throw a grenade in there. I don't actually know if zombies come through the roof. Because, like, you kind of can't see them. Oh, wow, this map is crazy. Oh. I forgot I have to see. What in the... What in the bowling alley? You could go in the bowling alley? That's cool. Oh, can't say that I'm quite missing the uh, lava and the Call of Duty games. Um, holy knife lunge. Yo, what's that over there? With all the smoke? Let's open in here. What in the mule kick? Thank you. Oh my god, okay, can I slide? Oh, so it leads back here. What is up there? That does not look like Jug. Huh. 
PDW on the wall. Let's go. Can I buy this door? Ah, oh, you can't. This might be a good training spot. Unless they drop through up there. I have no idea. I'm gonna buy a PDW. Get the, that. Get this. Um, let's open up here. Just because I want Jug. I don't know if Jug's actually in there. I'm hoping it is. Whoever made this, bro, I hope they make, like, an actual transit remastered. That would be crazy. I'm so confused. Oh, it's up there. Oh. Huh. I don't know if there's an Easter egg. I probably should have looked at the... I should have looked in the description of uh, the download. That's that's my bad. Yo, wait, zombies spawn in there? Is, so zombies spawn in here? Do they like jump through the window or something? Can I get in there? Hold up. You know, they aren't running. I'm gonna leave the one alive. Just explore a little bit, I guess. So what's out there? I don't know what that says. So it just extends more on the town. All right, all right, all right. I see, I see you, I see you. Oh, this is... Oh. And then if I open... Oh, oh, wow. Okay, okay. So this is this building. So I saw a perk up here. What it, I wonder what it is. If it's who's who, I swear to God. Huh? Banana Colada. I have no idea what that is. And I'm kind of scared. Uh, anything else I should be looking for? I'm sorry, the zombies spawn in a closet? It's a bit of an odd choice. Um, <laughs> let's see if anything is open in the bank. Like if the vault opens. It does! Let's go! Oh! <gasps> PhD Flopper! I don't really want that. I'd rather have Widow's Wine, but you know, I, I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Oh, I should probably get speed too. I don't know if there's actually a perk limit. I'm praying there isn't, but there might be. So I'm gonna get the perks I need first. Does PhD prevent fire damage is my question. I've never actually had PhD on a map with fire, so I actually- I- I have- I have no idea. Um... Wow. <laughs> and then Tombstone. Mmm, my favorite. Tombstone Cola. I love Tombstone. Do you guys like Tombstone? <laughs> the zombies are not happy. Also, if anyone's trying to do custom zombies with me, like, I 100% would. Because, like, it's all- Zombies is always funner when you got other people. Like, zombies is fun. It's on its own. No, I didn't want to get that. Try to turn around. FOV's too high. I, I think they genuinely remade this entire map by hand. Because, like, there's a lot different. There's a lot different than... I do find it strange that zombies spawn from all over the map. I think I want to get Banana Colada after this, because I have no idea what it does, but it seems interesting. Oh man, I don't have enough. Uh, maybe I should use my PDW. PDW low-key kind of cracked, though. Like, you can't lie, it's really good. Surprise PhD only costs, like, 2,000. Thought it cost way more. Ah, oh, PhD, PhD, PhD flopper. All right, so they didn't put too much effort behind the buildings, but it's it's still it's still good. It's still good. Get a yeah. All right, I like it. I, I think I still think it's cool. Okay, let, I'm begging, please, please. No! What's the point? I can't even like... Bro, actually, for real, what's the point? Wait, you can't even do like the explosion thingy anymore. Cause you can't dolphin dive, wait.
<clears throat> what else do I want? I guess I could pack a punch. Yeah, I don't think there's an Easter egg on this map, though. Unless you count, like, the secret song. I know there is a remastered, a reimagined one on World at War, and that one's really cool. Like, it actually remasters it. And there's an Easter egg, and you, you have to, like, build a mob of the dead plane, and you, like, act, you fly to the mob of the dead, um, cafeteria. And you, like, literally just chill there, and then Brutus is spawn in, and, like, I think, I'm pretty sure that's where the Pack-A-Punch was. And it was really cool. Gonna go in, throw a grenade there, throw a grenade here, hit the box. Remington, new model. Doot, 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 doot. Oop. All right, so it has has Black Ops one guns in it too. Executioner, let's go. Pack the punching this. I think in Black Ops 2, if you pack in Black Ops 3, if you pack a punch the Executioner, you actually, uh, ew, um, you actually get a, uh, special thingy. Special thingy, dual wielded, I'm wasting on the ammo in my Mark 3. Oh, and the, uh, jet gun doesn't break in, like, the remastered, uh, transit i was talking about on black ops 2 it like doesn't break and that's actually kind of sick oh shoot Whoa. Pretty sure the round's almost over so let's see no it's not dual wield oh i'm disappointed oh i want it to be dual build all right so i guess i'm just my main goal is just to get to round 20 since i've already discovered everything on the map and it's kind of pointless so do 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 oh i do need speed cola that would be pretty useful. I wish I played more BO2 at launch. Because then I'd be like more used to the slide mechanics. Oh. Oh shoot. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> Get away! Oh! So I'm guessing there isn't a perk limit? Need a better gun. Um... No, no point in going in there. Is there- is there anything else in this map? Like anything to do with the bowling area? Nope. Can't get in there. Can't get in there.
see what other guns are in the mystery box. Teddy bear? Hmm, haha, -ha, funny. Can I double path this? Oh, okay. Now I have Thunderwall. So useful. God, I love, like, most of the maps that I look for. Like, I'm debating doing some other ones, but most of the maps that I actually look for and look forward to playing are, like, reimagined versions of old maps. I don't know why, but they're, I just love them so much. I accidentally stabbed. That's my bad. Getting stuck on lampposts and crap, bro. I feel like Black Ops 3 is one of the easier Call of Duty games. Like, yeah, the zombies full sprint at round one, but like... You have so many advantages on other Call of Duties. Like, you have insane wonder weapons. You have faster running. You have sliding. And then, like, your guns themselves can turn into wonder weapons if you just double pap them. Like... It's kind of OP. Um, is there anywhere else I could buy? Is there anything else I can buy? That's my question. Um, I could buy Banana Rama. Or Banana Banana Colada, whatever. Um. Aha! I think that's really it. I don't know. I'm gonna look this up afterwards and find out that there is like a really important Easter egg. And it's like really cool and I missed out on it. But you know, it's whatever. Oh. Running out of ammo. Oh. Fire seal. Scar. Not bad, not bad. Galil, even better. Doesn't look like a Galil. Nope, I'm good. Actually? Remember the red, like, instant kill? Like, the double instant kill? Where, like, if you didn't kill any zombies, the entire instant kill, and then... I don't know how long it was, but, like, I don't know what... I don't really exactly remember what you had to do. But all I know is that you didn't use the double kill or the instant kill, and then not too long after, you get, like, a really OP instant kill. And, like, the zombies touch you and they die. Fireworks? What in the holy baloney? Two more rounds and I think I might just call it quits unless I find something to work forward with. Well, I, I, I don't really think there is, so I mean... The map's what it is. It's really cool looking. That is what fireworks is. Alright. Getting way too close for comfort, boys. Thought the round might have been over, but then I forgot all the zombies had to break through their barricades again.
Why y'all run so quick? Y'all acted like Cold War zombies. For what? Next thing I'm getting is double tap, and then we should be chilling. I just want to get everything. I might even get mule kick and um, tombstone. Might, might survive a little bit past round 20. Felix, I feel like I've never seen firework before. Also, I have PhD. Why is the fire hurting me? Alright, so that's enough for this one. So let's get this. No, double tap. No, there's a perk limit? Aw, oh, man. Aw, oh, man. That's a bummer. Well, I did make it to the round that I said I want to make it to. Don't, can't double tap that. Uh, well, I guess that's endgame, man. Because I did everything that I needed to do. I quite literally don't think I could do anything else. Um... Here, I'm going to pause. Let's open up the workshop page. See so if I could find the uh, CJ <laughs> CJ's house. Bunker Squid Game. Whoa. There's a Cold War weapons pack. Might get that. Um, let's look up town. Oh, there's this. Um, it's like transit reimagined but it's only the diner and it's called daybreak and i really want to play that sometime okay so there is one thing about the map if you make it to round 30 plus it actually might disconnect you and lag a whole bunch so that's something to look out for but uh yeah this this is a pretty cool map pretty pretty cool pretty cool um works really nice uh i give it a 10 out of 10 for a reimagined map because like this this sta this lives up to Treyarch like standards. Like it's better than some of Treyarch's own maps, and that's saying something. Cause they There's a reason COD zombies exist. Like They're the reason games like this exist. So yeah. Um anyways, this has been coffee. If you guys enjoyed, please smash the like button, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.